So you wanna be in the vending business, huh? Well, then there's no doubt that the most important question you've been asking yourself is, how do you get vending machine locations, right? And what about really good vending machine locations? Meaning high foot traffic vending machine locations. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to get vending machine locations that make you $1,000 a month guaranteed. A quick disclaimer to certain folks, if you only believe that vending can be done the way that the vending business has been done for the last 10, 20, 30 years, meaning grab any location that you can, regardless of how many consumers are there a day. Placing a used, outdated, cheap vending machine for $1,000, give or take, only to make $100, $200, maybe as much as $400 a month, I can promise you this video is not for you. This video is for the open-minded those who think bigger than that, those who think there has to be a better way to get locations and make more money in the way that everybody shows how to do it on YouTube. And if that's you, then this is the video for you. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, my name is Ryan O'Keefe, founder of Vending Accelerator, and I've helped build wildly successful healthy vending machine businesses all over the United States. Yes, healthy vending machine businesses. However, the strategies that I'm gonna show you today work for all vending businesses, healthy vending businesses or traditional vending businesses. Okay, on to the good stuff to show you how to get vending machine locations that make you $1,000 a month guaranteed. First off, you must target great vending machine locations. What's a great vending machine location? The first indication is foot traffic specifically high foot traffic vending machine locations. Again, remember, this is how to get vending machine locations that will make you $1,000 a month guaranteed. This means knowing what the daily foot traffic is for any given vending location, and the standard that we always meet at Vending Accelerator with myself and my clients is minimum 300 daily consumers or more. Because keep in mind, on average, 10% of your consumers each day will buy from your vending machine, meaning 300 daily consumers, you should expect at least 30 daily vends a day or more. Daily vends, meaning daily product sales. So let's break this down. 30 sales per day, let's go on an average of $1.50, average retail price, and let's not even plan for 31 sales days in the month. Let's just say that the facility is open Monday through Friday, which gives us 22 sales days on average for a month. So 30 vends, product sales a day at $1.50 per product sale times 22 sales days in a month equals $990 a month. There's your $1,000 a month. That's how you get to that number. And it will typically take you about four to six hours per month to restock that vending machine about once a week. And with $1,000 revenue, you're typically gonna have about a 50% profit margin. So you're gonna be taking home $500 a month from one vending machine that's generating you $1,000 in revenue, again, $500 in profit. And if you break that down, $500 a month, let's say you're working the full six hours instead of the four hours. $500 a month, six hours a month, you're gonna be making about $80 an hour. Do you know who makes $80 an hour? Registered nurses. You know how I know? All three of my sisters are registered nurses and my mom was a registered nurse. They all went to school from anywhere for two to four years, but you don't have to go to school for two to four years to make $80 an hour. You just have to follow my steps in this video today. Now back to high foot traffic vending machine locations. In any given marketplace, high foot traffic vending machine locations can be public, private charter schools, colleges, universities, YMCA's, community centers, boys and girls clubs, business and corporate environments, large gymnastics, dance, ballet facilities, large gyms, athletic clubs, sports complexes, and many more. But how do you find these high foot traffic vending machine locations? In a previous video that you can watch right here, I talked about BotSoul. BotSoul is an amazing tool that my team and my clients use religiously to easily and quickly find high foot traffic vending machine locations right in their area. So bookmark that video, watch it after this video, and you can learn how BotSoul can help you find high foot traffic vending machine locations and build you a list of many, many locations right in your area. Okay, so how do you score one of these high foot traffic vending machine locations? Right, the whole premise of this video, how do you get vending machine locations that make you $1,000 a month guaranteed, right? Well, as you can imagine, most of these high foot traffic vending machine locations are already going to have vending machine programs installed. So you have to offer these locations something they don't have, meaning something better or something unequivalent, meaning something different that's attractive to the location and the decision maker. 
An unequivalent offer can come in many different ways. I'm not just talking about healthy vending, that's one way. But understand, most locations deal with a number of issues with their current vending machines in their locations or their current vending machine program. The machines that they have might be constantly out of order. They may receive poor servicing from their current operator. The technology could be outdated. Maybe the machine doesn't work properly. It's constantly out of service. Or maybe it's just really old and ugly and only offers junk food and they don't like that either. Check out this recent interaction with a school that I had and you'll get an idea of what I mean. Hey, school it. kitchen, Jill speaking. Hey Jill, I just had a quick question. Teresa couldn't really answer it for me. Uh, my name is Ryan O'Keefe and I just wanted to know, do you, do you guys have vending machines for the students during the day? <laughs> I do and I run them and I hate them with every part of oh. my life. Yeah. <laughs> you hate them because they're broken down, they can continually uh, ask you for refunds. Torture. They're absolute torture. Well, <laughs> Jill, that's exactly why we exist. My company actually just recently launched in the area and it's completely burden free for the staff. See, even in that situation, you learn that that school actually owns their own vending machines, which means they keep their profit 100%. But you heard Jill say she hates her vending machines with every part of her being. And all I did was ask her one simple question. And now we have an amazing opportunity to potentially replace two vending machines at the high school, two vending machines at the middle school, completely take away her burden that's killing her, and still bring them some extra revenue for their department. It's a win-win for everybody, especially when you're gonna take care of that burden that's draining Jill every single day. You can hear it literally in her voice. And if you're not familiar with how much money you can make with vending machines at public schools, check out this video right here. Watch it later. In short, vending machines at schools are absolute cash cows. So did you catch what I did there? And now this doesn't happen every single time. It certainly pays to inquire and ask. That's the game here, folks. Asking high foot traffic locations, do you have vending machines? Tell me about your current experience with your current machines and vendor. You do that and you're gonna find problems because when there's issues and it's draining that decision maker because they're the one dealing with those problems, they're going to happily tell you about it. Now, there's an important factor here, everyone. When you're dealing with high foot traffic locations and they already have issues with their current vending machines that they currently have or their vendor, you have to remember, offer something unequivalent, something that they don't have. Meaning you can't offer one of these locations a used outdated machine to replace their already used and outdated, poorly serviced, out of order, regularly broken down vending machine. It's just not an unequivalent offer. It's not gonna get them inspired to replace what they currently have. That's why we always offer to these locations brand new vending machines with cutting edge technology that you won't find across the board in most vending machine locations. Things like guaranteed product delivery that guarantees the consumer is always gonna get their product or their money back so they're not complaining to the office staff or the front office or the admin team or the decision maker and bogging them down with complaints and issues. Machines with amazing graphics so the machine looks beautiful in their facility, LED lighting, LED touchscreen, smartphone payments and all that great stuff so that again it becomes unequivalent so it takes away their issues and it's something they can actually be proud of. And large capacity machines that offer well over 400 products, drinks and snacks in the same machine so it doesn't take up a bunch of space, even perishables like yogurts and smoothies, 50 different selections. That way you don't take up a ton of space and you're able to take care of a large foot traffic location that offers 300, 500 or 1,000 consumers a day. Now these machines have much more to offer. We purchase all of our machines mostly from Crane, but that's for another video at another time. So to recap how to get vending machine locations locations that make a thousand dollars guaranteed you got to target high foot traffic vending machine locations 300 or more daily consumers and you've got to simply ask questions do you currently have vending tell me about your experience with the current vending operator and the machines and listen this does take at times some sophistication you can't just call up and just be like hey i'm a vending machine company this is abc vending do you want a vending machine that doesn't work all right you've got to be sophisticated you got to put together a nice proposal and look professional as well because that's a big part of what we do when it comes to the presentation that we put forth inside of the email proposal and it looks great just like the vending machine does and that's what it's about being unequivalent that you're not just sending over a typed email that says hey we want to be in your location it's just like 
like when, when you get dressed up at work, when you get dressed up to go to the gym, when you get dressed up to go out, whatever it is, look good, feel good, it's the same thing. They wanna get that same feeling when they're looking at that email campaign and they're super impressed by what you had to offer them because again, it's unequivalent to what they've ever seen before. And that's how you're gonna get vending machine locations that make you $1,000 a month guaranteed. What do you think? Do you think you can offer locations an unequivalent offer in order to get into their facilities and generate $1,000 a month? Let me know, I'd love to hear from you. So if you're still watching this and you're here, thank you, yeah you for being here and watching it to this point. I appreciate you being here. If you got value from this content today in this video, do me a favor, give me a like, give me a subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can get notified when we drop new content, maybe even share it on your social if you'd like to. Either way, my name is Ryan O'Keefe, founder of Vending Accelerator. I'll see you guys next time.